Hey, what's up everybody? Sinister Skater here, and welcome to First Try Fridays episode number 25. For those of you new to my channel, this is a series I do every single Friday where you guys leave a Call of Duty Black Ops 3 class down below in the comments. It could be anything you want. You can add a challenge to it, sensitivity, pick the camo, pick the gun, pick the perks, whatever you want. You leave that down below. Then I go in and randomly pick the class and then use it in my very first game of Black Ops 3 for the day. Then I upload and commentate to the gameplay, no matter if we do really good like we did two episodes ago, or really bad like we did last episode. No matter what the gameplay goes up, you guys get to see some true skill, and it's a pretty fun series to do. So first things first, this week, in or this weekend in Black Ops 3, it is a double XP weekend in a specific playlist. The playlist is called Flags and Bombs, which has to do everything with flags and bombs. You get to play Search and Destroy, Demolition, and Capture the Flag in that playlist, and you get to earn some double XP. And you can also play these game modes in the core and hardcore playlist I don't know if many people know about this But if you go play demo or cap in like an eclipse playlist or I'm guessing the normal playlist You can get some double XP in there as well So that's what we played for this week's gameplay and if it's a topic of this video well enough Which we'll talk about later. So let's get on to the class this week The class was suggested by Evan M who wanted me to use the dingo with elo fast mags quick draw in the extended bag We have rk5 as our secondary and the perks over Overclock, Fast Hands, and Dead Silence. And Overclock is good because the specialist we are using is Blackjack. We're using his rogue ability with the specialist weapons. Um, did pretty well with Blackjack. I even got my side bet in this game. It was a pretty awesome gameplay. Overall, we went 24-4, and four, which is an improvement from next week. We played some Demolition in the Flag and Bombs playlist on Stronghold. We started off strong. We ended strong. We got some streaks in the gameplay. Pretty good gameplay overall. So that's it for this week's gameplay. Uh, last week, we had a bunch of comments, which is always awesome. Makes me feel good. And this series of, like, First Strike Fridays for Black Ops 3 has been going great. It's been the best one so far with the past Call of Duties. So I just wanted to say thank you for that and keep the class is coming because again if you guys don't know i'm planning on doing about five to you know seven max more of these first try fridays so make sure you get your classes in if you want to do them and i know i keep saying this but i do plan on live streaming sometime in the summer for sure i'm going to be doing a mega class mondays i'm using all your guys' classes that didn't get picked so we can like, like i'm probably going to do like an all day stream to use a lot of classes but you know it's just Hard to stream because one, I'm at my home, the internet's not too good. If I want to stream, I have, I don't even know if I can stream, I'm pretty sure I can pull it off. But if I want to do it, I have to do it at night when everyone's not using the internet because it just can't handle that much traffic on it. And usually when the time it gets to midnight or something, I plan on doing it, but then I'm exhausted because of my job. I work with kids. Like today we went to an amusement park, it was sunny outside, I'm pretty sure in a couple hours I'm going to be exhausted. So. Hopefully later on in the summer when job's done we can do that and in the next two weeks like the week and a half I have a break from my job so I'm definitely gonna be doing a lot of stuff during that time so it's gonna be coming guys just be patient and um yeah let's get into today's uh this week's commentary we don't have we had about three minutes to talk about because uh this, this gameplay was pretty short which kind of has to do with this commentary so PTFO play the fudging objective uh, the, the, the question is do many people know how to because I, I read this reddit post and it made a really good point people just simply do not know how to play objective game modes and it, it there's a lot of evidence like supporting it i mean people play team deathmatch and they bring that mentality into other game modes and like i even do it sometimes when i'm going to get gameplays but you know you see this with the numbers in the in game like find a match feature when you go to click a match like 50 plus percent people are playing team deathmatch all the time like everything else except search and destroy are in these single digit percentages like kill confirms usually like you know like eight percent demo two percent uplink one three percent some other things like people just don't play objective game modes the only thing that brings people into other game modes besides TDM and Search and Destroy is double XP, like if we have a double XP playlist like this weekend, or contracts where you have to win like safeguard games and you get like 40% people playing in safeguard. Otherwise, people don't play other game modes. And if you play like, if you play other game modes, like objective game modes, just people, you can see by the gameplay, people don't know how to play the objective, they just bring that mentality of TDM into it. 
And it's hard for new players to like learn, especially new players, how to learn to play these objective game modes. Because if you're a brand new player to the game, you don't get any details about new game modes except for the vague description that they provide for it. The way you learn how to play these game modes is from experience or like a friend tells you or you watch online content. Like people watch YouTube videos, they watch competitive videos and they learn. But even those people don't know, like I mean, you watching this video right now, you watch Call of Duty Online and some of you still may not know how to play games like Demolition or objective game modes like Capture the Flag. I mean, yes, you can play over and over again and force your way and kind of bang your head against the wall and learn that way, but you had to commit and many people don't do that. And it's frustrating for players who actually know how to play the game mode like me because they have horrible teammates and they never can win. It's just frustrating for the newbie guy because he doesn't know what he's doing. He's just getting his butt kicked and he's going to go back into TDM. It's just not a good experience overall. Like, even having a vague knowledge of a game is not good. Like, domination, if you, like... You don't just rush towards B all the time. There's a strategy to it, how to capture B. You wait for your teammates, you know, you got to pick people off, lock the area down. You know, it's just hard to learn how to play these objective game modes. And Trek's making a big push with their COD World League and competitive gaming. So I think, like, the Reddit post, I completely agree. They need to implement some, like, in-game tutorial or a movie or something that just explains simple strategies, roles. Just simply explain how the game mode works. Maybe some class setups. Simple things like that for each game mode. Maybe you can do this in, like, a combat training scenario where you can play combat bots and just learn game modes like that. Then you can do it in-game and people will actually learn how to play these game modes. I think it's a great feature they should implement in future Call of Duties or add it into Black Ops three right now but you know i'm running out of time this gameplay is so short i'm already running out of time to talk but i'll link the reddit post down below if you want to go more in depth but the thing is like you know competitive game modes people really don't know how to play them it's hard to learn how to play them they just go back to tdm and you know they should call of duty and other game developers should do something about that so that's it for this week's episode be sure to leave a class down below for next week's first try friday if you guys haven't already um, yeah, subscribe for your Black Ops 3 content if you aren't already. Drop a like if you liked the video. Dislike if you disliked it. I'm Sam Skate. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.